scared from stretching, loved having some tea, good to stretch my arms. I was thinking today would be a great day to do a rotator cuff stretch, so let's do that. Welcome back to all of you guys who are my subscribers, or you don't subscribe and you just watch a bunch. Thank you for being here. Thanks for all your likes and your comments. It's really, really helpful. And I, I don't say it enough, but I really appreciate you guys and the support that you give. Every time that you like, comment, or especially share my videos, you're helping share this method with the world. And I love the Kihara method. I mean, I can't even tell you guys how much this has changed my life. And I know that it's changing yours. And I know that it can change so many other people's lives and help them get out of pain. So if you are enjoying these videos and you want to give back, it, one of the best ways you can give back is to just like my videos. So give it a thumbs up, give me a comment, share it with your friends, whatever. Um, it's very, very helpful. For those of you who are brand new here, uh, welcome. You are going to love the Kihara. I mean, it's like amazing stuff. But before you do it, there are a couple rules that you need to know. And the first rule, is that you have to watch this video about the rules before you do the stretches. It says Kihara rules, watch first. Uh, it's just three basic principles of Kihara that you need to understand before you get into this method. So go ahead and watch that video. It's just a couple minutes long, and then come back and watch this one again, okay? All right, today, rotator cuff is what I promised. Bye, T. Bye-bye, T. You're gonna bring your right arm up and your left arm over top of your right arm. It's kind of like, you know that TV show from, with the genie? It's like that. You're like, tick, tick, and then all your wishes come true. So your bottom arm here, you're gonna wrap your fingers around your right elbow, and then your right hand is gonna push up into your left elbow. So I'm resisting by trying to pull my arms into this position. So try that, you're resisting, and if you slipped, your arms would fly up and out into like goalposts, okay? So grab that resistance, and now push open to the right side. My right arm is winning, my left arm is gonna fight that motion. Then pull to the left and fight that motion. So now my top arm is winning and my left arm is fighting. And then go right back and forth. This is a lot more intense than it looks, you guys. <laughs> I feel it for sure. You should feel it in the back of your right shoulder, like back through here. Opening for strength and closing for your stretch. It's just a back and forth. Open to the right, close it to the left. Now, if you want a little extra in this, this is your rotator cuff, and there's a reason why it's called a rotator cuff, because it rotates. So you're gonna take your left arm and push your elbow down into your wrist or into your hand, and pull your elbow up and around. So I have a good range of motion in this, so I can go all the way into this position. But for you, it may be that you only rotate this much and you move in a small amount. It's kind of like moving your elbow in a figure eight, like if you were drawing a figure eight right over here. So I pull up and down and around and over. It's a, like a figure eight motion. Deep into the stretch would be a bigger figure eight. Less range would be a smaller figure eight. So you can just play around with it that way. You should feel the stretch through the back of your shoulder. If you feel anything down the side of your body or in the front of your chest, then you've got a problem that can be fixed pretty easily. The way that you fix it is you just go down into the description below and there's a link for a problem solving video. When you click on that link, you'll get a video of a couple stretches, four or five stretches that will help you unlock the muscles around and that way you'll gain more freedom so that you can actually go into this deep stretch. But sometimes, just even having a little bit too much bulk in the front here, or like the inability to fold in the front, will keep you from actually being able to fold your shoulder over the top. Or having too much stress 
and strain in the back here. Maybe even that muscle kind of taking over will pull your elbow down. And if your elbow's being pulled down, you're not gonna be able to pull it over. So we're going to stretch the lats too. So there are a couple things that can help to open this up. Um, some lower body stuff too, you never know. I mean, the body is a funny thing. So be sure to check out that problem solving video if you want a little bit more range of motion in your rotator cuff. All right, and we're gonna move on to the other side. But I wanna remind you guys that there's a little button in the bottom here, a little square. That square with the little arrow is the subscription button. If you click that button, you're gonna get access to my videos in a really easy way. YouTube will put them in a folder for you. And then they're so easy to find. Also, if you click the bell icon, don't forget to do that. It's gonna send you a notification either to your phone or to your email that reminds you to stretch on a regular basis. So click that button, click the bell, all right? Okay, bring your left arm up and take your right arm and wrap your fingers around your elbow and then push your left hand into your right elbow. Now you're gonna go back and forth, pushing out to the left and pulling across to the right. Now if this feels good, then you can start to rotate if you want. So remember that rotation is kind of like making a figure eight. If you have any pain in this at all, if it doesn't feel good, then you need to problem solve. Don't do this stretch because you don't want to hurt yourself, right? If your body's creating pain or telling you something's wrong, it's because there's something wrong. So the idea like no pain, no gain in stretching doesn't really work. It works if like you're running a marathon. It does not work when you're stretching. So any pain at all is gonna create a pattern in your body that's gonna try to keep you from doing the stretch ever again. So do the problem solving video. That's gonna help you unlock the things that are creating the pain in your body. Now remember, just going in a figure eight, like a, a wide, long figure eight like this might be really beneficial. Or if you feel like you have more range of motion, going into the deeper figure eight might be more beneficial for you. So the deeper figure eight would look like this more with your elbow. Uh, less range of motion would be more of a narrow figure eight. So you can play around with what works for you. Okay, and it's okay if you feel like you're moving like a centimeter, like if your rotation is like this much, that's okay, that may just be where you are today until your shoulders open up. My shoulders were not happy for a long time doing this stretch, and then one day it just released. Just worked that way, it's kind of amazing. But when I first got started doing Kihara, I was a pianist, and my shoulders were like this all the time. So it's really strong in this motion, but anything in this motion, which is kind of what this is, right? So you're kind of like pulling up this way. Um, I was really weak at, I mean, I couldn't even brush my teeth, you guys. I don't my arm up to brush my teeth. That's ridiculous. So doing this stretch was really intense for me. I problem solved a bit. Over time, it opened up, and now I have full range of motion and strength, and I can brush my teeth and blow dry my hair even. It's amazing. I love this stuff, you guys, I really do. All right, that's enough arm stretch for today. I wanna to remind you guys again to give me a thumbs up if you like this video. Remember that it just helps me to spread the word about Kihara even more. So give me a thumbs up, leave me a comment, share this with any of your friends who have shoulder issues. I think they'll love it. And don't forget to subscribe, so important. If you are loving Kihara and you wanna incorporate this into your life a little bit more, Use that playlist to watch the videos in sequential order so that you can do all the stretches for your body all at the same time. I recommend doing these stretches about two to three times a week. That seems to be fine. You don't have to stretch before or after your workout if you're doing resistance stretching. You will actually warm up as you're doing the stretches and the results will last for you. So two to three times a week is great. Uh, and remember to always be listening to your body and problem solve when you need to, okay? Don't ever just do a stretch just because you're in a process in a playlist. If you need to problem solve, get out of that order and do a different thing. It's what your body needs. You gotta listen to your body, you guys. All right, great. So great to have you guys here today, and I will see you on Monday for leg day. Have a good one, bye-bye.